Hi guys, uh, welcome to the Polygon of Forces Laboratory. My name is Cornelius Koch. Um, and I'm here to uh, introduce to you the lab equipment that's being used and to describe to you the experiment that we're going to be undertaking. Alright, so a couple of things to be aware of. Um, we're going to be working with masses, so uh, there is a risk that these will fall and um, hurt your feet. So um, for this laboratory it's important that you must have covered shoes, so make sure that you're wearing those. Um, now, for this experiment, what we will be doing is we will uh, have a system like this, uh, this little ring. And um, the idea of this experiment is that we will apply a force onto the ring, a force that we can measure, and we'll try to um, apply three forces, and we will see that the system will move to a position where we will get equilibrium. Um, so, in this case here, um, I have a ring. Um, I've tied on uh, three pieces of string onto the, onto the ring itself. Uh, one short for the middle one and um, two longer ones for the, for the sides. And then um, what we'll do is we'll uh, hang um, the masses onto the center and onto the left and right. Uh, you will be told what masses to apply onto your system. That will be in the instructions for your worksheet. So our first step is to make sure that the force board is uh, level. Um, so you can do that just by rocking the, the board left to right. Um, also you can um, try to check the level by putting a level onto that, the side of the board. Uh, maybe you can use an app on your phone with a level on there as well. Okay, so the second step is to attach the pulleys on either side. So this might be already done for you, uh, but we have pulleys, they have a little adjuster here. We'll just attach them onto the sides here. Um, right. So the uh, third step is to uh, join your pieces of string uh, to, uh, to the little ring that we've got. And then we'll apply the masses on the left hand side. The center. And the right hand side of the pulley. Now what we'll notice is um, the system will move to a position where there is equilibrium. So now we've got our system and it's not moving up or down or left or right. Now what we could do is we can measure the mass of each one of these um, masses. So I've got a set, set of scales here to do that. Um, and if we know the mass we can use the mass to find out the force pulling down here. Now if we assume that there's no friction on the surface of the board and we assume that there's no friction inside the pulley over here, then that means we can find out the force inside this section here. So the force in this um, string will be equal to the mass times gravity of this component here. The force in this string will be equal to the mass times gravity for this one. And uh, so we we'll use 9.81 for the gravitational constant. And over here we have the mass of uh, this uh, hanger and the masses, so we can take that, measure how heavy it is, we've got the mass, multiply that by 9.81 um, and then we'll use that to find the force. So that's the mass in kilograms and multiplied by 9.81. Alright, so now what we need to do is we need to record um, the location of these strings and those masses. So I'd like you then to take a sheet of paper, to attach a sheet of paper into the background. So one. Two. Three. and four. And then now what we need to do is to copy the location onto the paper in the background. 
A nice way to do this is to use your maybe your cell phone um, torch function and that will shine the shadow onto the background here. And so um, you'll have your friend to hold the, the cell phone in position and then from there I'll be able to mark positions on here to record the position of our strings. Okay, so now we've got the location of the strings and also um, we will measure the mass of each one of these hangers. Okay, so um, I'll show you a second video. In the next video, uh, we'll be able to uh, construct a free body diagram from these points and then also we'll be able to create what we call a polygon of forces. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.